What is up? <laughs> oh man, it has been a fat minute since I've made a video. Um, whew, what is up? So I got a little bit of a join if anybody wants to join to me. Um, I mean, join me in this video. Um, so I uh, have moved back to California and this video is just gonna be kind of like an update, but more than an update, it's gonna be what I would like to exemplify as, you know, I don't think there's such a thing as, as luck. I think luck is just an, is, is a, it's like an unconscious embrace, an embrace of unconsciousness. You know, it's kind of like an embrace of like, oh, well, I don't know how the fuck that happened, you know, which is fine, but, um, I think the more conscious we can become, oh, you know, with and as our own nature as an individual and also more conscious, um, the more conscious we become with our environment and other people, I think the more skillful we can be, you know, the more conscious we are, the more skillful, the more attentive we can be to more aspects and, and things in life. Um, I've been saying this for a long time this sort of idea. I've also been talking about ease, easiness. Um, you know, I think in my life has been reflecting this, that, you know, when we take circumstances in an easy way, when we, when we integrate it easily, instead of with tension or instead of with great strife or, <clears throat> you know, I've said this metaphor close to a dozen times on this channel now. Um, you know, life is like a river and sometimes it's full of rapids, sometimes it's flat, sometimes it's smooth, sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's fast. Um, and we all have a choice to experience the river as we want to experience it. So we can float down the middle, do it, let it absolutely just happen. Or we can hang on to the side of tree, tree roots hanging out the banks and just hang on for dear life and get sucked down into the, the pressure of the current. Um, you know, it's turbulence of the waters of life might be a little scary, you know, but, um, you know, I, I think just being as conscious as possible and, um, letting life happen, I think brings us to an, a state of being and a place, a circumstance around us physically I think, you know, being easy, letting things happen, you know, nat like natural happiness, letting natural happiness happen, letting the happenings happen with ease, I think uh, brings us to a life that is, that it has an easy flow to it, or at least with our own abilities, we're taking it with ease. And, um, you know, I've also talked about potentials and I've, I've talked about more so maybe more on like Facebook um, work, uh, like text um, things. I've talked about how basically every natural, um, every natural being, let's say, whether it's an atom or a multicellular organism or a massively, comp you know, relatively speaking, massively complicated brain system in a human, no matter what kind of scale, every single being ha can feel its potential energy. You know, even if it's like a carbon atom next to an oxygen atom, it feels a, a way of being, it feels a potential energy around itself. You know, there's electromagnet magnetic stuff going on. There's so much stuff that we don't know that's going on. There's dark energy properties that are going on, whatever. Um, but it can sense, it has the sense, the sensitive mechanisms and pathways Every scale has the sensitive pathways and mechanisms within itself to, to move, to progress, to have momentum in their life, so to speak, to have momentum in their being. And so I, <clears throat> I think with, uh, when we are honest with ourselves and notice, you know, when we, when we, when we bring the guards down and we just experience the flux of life, the ins and outs, the flows, the, the lack, the abundance, the all of everything, when we experience it, 
um, we can naturally notice, you know, <clears throat> the more at ease we are, the less judgmental kind of, kind of thing. The more at ease we are, the more able we are to experience and therefore notice. Um, to notice, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just like totally lost that. Um, notice. To notice potential energy, that's what I was talking about. Um, so yeah, you know, obviously, if you're trying to better yourself, I think you've noticed that the more at ease you are, the more you can intake, you know? When you're all tense about an environment, you're becoming, ten, you know, with tendency, kind of like a neurotic fight or flight, you know, you're in that kind of state, but when you're at ease, you're just sitting here. <sighs> More so absorbing more things, I think, you know, especially if we calm down our mind <clears throat> and not trigger it to make conclusions at every single breath and every single moment. You know, when we calm that down and just experience the novelty of every moment, um, we can intake much. I think we can intake much more. And to go back, <clears throat> potential energy, every being can sense potential energy, whether you're fucking a quote unquote genius or super intelligent person or the absolute opposite of that. Every, I think every single natural being from a, an atom to a multicellular complicated being has a way to feel its potentials, its future, its, its potentials around itself and its potentials in time. Um, you know, <clears throat> for like, I'll just say an example. Um, and this is all going to relate back to how I've manifested well, you know, how, how just, just to say with language, like in my, in this life, um, I've navigated in such a way where I've found myself in a home, a small kind of uh, studio sized home, but it's a home to myself. It's closed off with doors, windows, bathroom, has a kitchen behind you. You can't see it's nice and clean right now. <clears throat> I mean, there's stuff stacked up all over the place because I'm still moving in, but it's clean. It's beautiful. It's new. There's not like mold in the floor. You know, there's, it's like fresh besides this, <laughs> but that's just, that just happens, you know, when you like fill in and repaint and stuff, whatever. But I've navigated life and I have found myself in a home working on a farm that, okay, it's in a home in a freaking redwood forest close to the coast of California. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm still kind of waking up. <clears throat> My system is still a little clogged. I don't know. Um, anyways. So, yeah, I found myself in a redwood forest in a house that I can essentially, functionally speaking, call my own, which is like a first for me. It's fucking epic. <laughs> I can smoke this in my house. I haven't even started. Sorry. I'll get to it. But... But you know how fucking awesome it is? Yeah, I'm in California, so it's like legal. You can smoke outside besides in public places, whatever. But like just to the first night I was here, I was like, man, I don't prefer to have smoke in the house because that's just not my sort of thing. You know, like affects my breathing. But I had that, that little power. It was like, you know what? No, I can fucking I can smoke this in here. No one's going to fucking stop me. This is my decision. <sighs> It's just like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> it's like my own fucking space, you know. First time in my life. Um, and I'm, I'm, so I'm in the f this beautiful forest um, right off of a main road. And I'm working on a farm that is on a beautiful ridge line with unique soil. And it's right off of a main road. And I can take back roads between them. I'm working during this virus situation. I'm getting, you know, likely it's a product based system. So we need to produce, we need to have, and it's all legal. Um, I'm going to keep details kind of low key, but it's all legal. Um, some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you may not, but <coughs> um, I'm not going to say anything. Okay. I'm going to keep the details out, but so basically I'm still getting paid and I got work. <laughs> 
And it's not only just something that you might assume or not assume the thing that I have not said yet, but I'm also farming, uh, you know, making a terrace garden, like terrace farm garden sort of thing and, uh, farming vegetables, you know, it's an apple farm on the property in the North Bay of California, you know, like one of the wealthiest areas in the world, actually. So I got my own place in the forest working on a farm and in a wealthy ass area, naturally lush, culturally chaotic, which is something I fucking want. I want to be around this leading edge in a way. Like this is the leading edge of the Western world in a way of, of in a way like the whole world. This is the West Coast, is like the leading edge, fucking edge of the world. That's where everybody it's it's the least tilled land out of all the lands, you know. It's the least human worked <clears throat> material. It's fresh. It's beautiful. And uh so I'm here, I made it. <clears throat> and I, 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 like moving back a little bit, I don't like saying like I manifested this. Like we are all doing this together collectively. We're all creating space. We're all creating time. We're all moving, evolving, you know, working together to create this. I think it's fucking ridiculous a little bit to say like I manifested this. It's like, okay, well, so did the dozens of other people who lived here, which I don't think it's been that many, but like the people who've worked creating this space who've lived here watching this space, who've taken out the garbage to keep this space fucking functional. You know, I think saying I manifested, it's kind of ridiculous, but <clears throat> but I've navigated through life in such a way where I've ended up in the freaking North Bay of California's San Francisco Bay in fucking house to myself, getting paid well, having this taken care of for me, basically. Like, it's a true blessing and... <clears throat> and, you know, I'm extremely thankful and grateful um, to be here. And um, I don't take it lightly, you know. I take, a, I take this fucking YouTube channel pretty lightly. And so maybe it kind of comes off like I just don't give a fuck sometimes. Um, but, you know, I take these practices and these attention things, you know, like to pay attention in life. Like I take it pretty seriously and maybe a little anally, you know, <laughs> like intensely, eh, maybe, you know, where I'm to the point, like, I need to know what, what this means to me, you know, and how can I allow this to be and how can I flourish? How can I love, you know, like, how can I love in every moment, you know, like, you know, walking on the path in the forest and you see... You see a flower, and you love that flower. What would you do? You know, it's just one of those situations that we've talked about for a while. <clears throat> People in general, you know, it. The way I see love is, I wanna, I wanna help nourish and um, nurture everything and everyone around me. You know, um, I don't want to pick it for my own temporary enjoyment. I want everybody around me to be themselves I want to and, and, and I want to help nurture those people to be themselves and how they want to be and I'll do what I can do to do help that happen help the progression of life happen with ease and you know hopefully with a little bit of joy you know with ease I mean ease is pretty fucking awesome it's pretty awesome you know it's easy so, I just got sprouted with a bunch of ideas as to like, man, why, why do some people, why do some people just don't take life with ease? And, you know, I think trauma really fucking, trauma is a really challenging one to move through, but man, I don't know. Um, anyways, so, <clears throat> still haven't smoked this. <laughs> I guess I'm just like kind of making sure that I, I'm able to use this and not just get like fucking stoned and eat the whole day because like I don't want to do that. <laughs> I love, I've been, uh, you know, in the midst of this coronavirus chaos, um, do, I've been doing things like Wim Hof breathing, um, probably should do more cold therapy with that. Um, trying to just like let my let my body know that I can like influence my immunity a little bit, you know, just to kind of be like, hey, dude, hey. <laughs> and I've been doing some uh, 
like singing and like sound healing with myself kind of like sound massage movement massage sort of things um to help keep this flow happening in the throat to you know flow is like our bodies can heal it's just when it, when it gets stagnant it's like the fucking cesspools in the swamps they kind of you know it's there's lack of motion in there lack of movement and it just starts bubbling up all this gross shit i think <clears throat> blood flow circulation energetic circulation like literally the energy that fucking gets to your cells to do the stuff it needs to have its flow so i've been practicing like singing meditation oming stuff and language study all kind of conglomerating together in that um and i only i only mention that because it might be something you want to do um eat high powered mushrooms i'm not talking about psilocybin i'm talking about like uh chaga um i think chaga has a really good um angle to the coronavirus situation <clears throat> and what are some other ones like lion's mane you know um so yeah and anyways i'm i've moved <clears throat> and uh i also just want to like emit that i really don't give too much of a fucks um about about like dolling myself up a certain way in these videos to appear a certain way or to you know to appear a certain way and um <clears throat> you know this is a fucking old school jacket that my dad used to wear in like the 90s or something and i have it and so i'm making my life a little easy and i'm using it it's not the most fucking stylish it's old school as fuck but i don't give a fuck got bad head i don't give a fuck okay I just care about the information. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I know some of you are, like, curious. and I've, I've had people reach out to me wondering what's up. And so I got to make a video. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know how much <clears throat> I'm really going to be making videos anymore. Um, I really just don't know. I'm making plenty of money. I'm joyfully experiencing this work you know like i literally wish my body was invulnerable so i could just keep working because i love it that much you know like it's a very physically very very physically demanding job side note fucking getting exercise which is amazing something i wanted from a job <clears throat> it's it's farming you know it's landscaping it's creating a terrace garden in fucking clayey soil clayey it's clay soil that's just fucking like you gotta fucking dig into it dude but it's fun you get to sculpt it so that's cool um but yeah like the, the, i i don't something i don't like about the in the internet and and the intake of information in general something i don't particularly prefer to be a part of is in general people's intake of information <laughs> no because here's the thing, man. <clears throat> From like a few, couple months ago now, I think it was, I talked about, look, I made an absurd title. A fucking absurd title that um, for sure attracted cer a certain demographic of people for real. I mean, really, really attracted a certain demographic of people, which I just tried to attract people in general, but I didn't really think it all the way through to see like the kind of demographic and the kind of the first um first impression of the video i mean the title was fucking absurd you know and <clears throat> but i i with that whole experience i noticed how i knew this before but i i noticed it even more at how much we create our realities with 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 information and how we choose our own self with our own feet and with our own signals in our brain. We are responsible for our perspective as we move physically, but also perspective. I mean, literally like your eyes moving. I can see over here. I can see over here. But like the way we think is a similar sort of thing going on. Or like if you only want to see over here, you're just going to see right here. If you only want to see right here, you're only going to see right here. I mean that in the mind. 
And, you know, I'm somebody who's like, I want to be inclusive. I want to be happy. I want to be at ease. And I want to help other people be inclusive, happy and at ease. And I want to help us all like, you know, come together and, <clears throat> you know, I think just coming together in general would be cool. But I think especially, especially, especially in this fucking, uh, in this world, in this time, we need to start having conversations together in real fucking honesty. And, and like, you know, have really tr uh, challenging conversations. But, you know, I think being at ease will help with that. So I'm just like trying to like show... I'm just trying to do my best. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. <clears throat> but um, being exposed to, so intensely exposed to very contrasting points of views, it's something that I don't particularly, uh, I don't particularly want that to be a force in my life that I regularly have to involve myself with, you know, um, I don't mind it. I kind of enjoyed it. I kind of enjoyed having like somebody, something, some force, a, a group of people in particular, a group of people so intensely, um, adverse by what I said, or, uh, what's it called? You know, ag against what I said. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed it because it showed me a whole different way of looking at things. I mean, it was kind of expected to look to, to have a lot of people look at what I did as the way that they looked at it. <coughs> um, you know, I in in the process of seeking to become inclusive, I'm very able to. Um, like respect differences and respect you know people's preferences I'm very open and allowing able to allow people's honest things to happen and I don't have much of an issue with it you know to me it's nature you know like the way, similarly how I think of it is like I think nature is absolutely beautiful I think nature happens it just simply happens in a beautiful way and and I think our humanity has kind of lost that grace um and oh, where is I going with that oh so but however if if I'm in a group of people and one of these people okay I'm in a group of lions and one of these lions decides to go fucking murk a baby gazelle or whatever. Like, you know, they don't have the same kind of cultural experience as us, but as humans, but, but that's the nature of a lion, you know? And the nature of a human is, is the spectrums involved in human possibility and potential is, is, so much more vast, you know, with our fingers and being able to create and manipulate things like our, our spectrum of possibility are so vast. And however, it's still when, like when I see a human do something that I wouldn't do, it's like, okay, okay. You know, and if you, if they want to come threaten me, then it's about, it's about fucking protection. It's as simple as that. Just fucking protect yourself. You know, it's not like, <clears throat> protect people you love, you know, do what you got to do. Our, the forces in our nature um, move us, you know. If you want to be the person to go fucking stop that person that you don't agree with, then go do it. You have forces within you. The nature within you is telling you to go do it. So go fucking do it, you know. I'm inclusive of you doing it. I'm inclusive of you not doing it. I'm, I'm inclusive of that person doing that weird fucking thing. I'm inclusive of, of that person doing something different, you know. <clears throat> and I think being inclusive is a helpful thing for not only yourself. If you only want to think of this selfishly, being inclusive literally lets you absorb so much information, which allows you to use so much different things, different information, different angles, so much. So if you want to be selfish about it, being inclusive will help you, you yourself. 
And other than that, being more total, wholesome, if you're inclusive, you're able to exist with other people, help them when they need help, and they help you when you need to be helped, and, and back and forth. It's all, you know, synergistic and, and beautiful and whatever. So, for the people, you know, I, I don't... I don't have much of an issue for people being against what I, how I see or, or having resistance to a particular perspective. I don't really, you know, I'm at ease with that, but it is a force. Nonetheless, it's a force that I see as notifications on my phone that, you know, that is regularly kind of semi-regularly since I've done that. It's like people with their perspective, just like concluding, you know, it's like, man, it's just unfortunate, you know, like, <clears throat> you know, bitter is part of the flavor of life. And, and, and I'm drinking fucking IPAs, for example, IPA beers that are really bitter and bright. And it's something I don't prefer, but I'm tasting it and, and I'm learning to enjoy flavors because I'm, I want to enjoy the experience of humanity and the experience of being a fucking human. I want to explore cuisine and, and, you know, the art of, 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 of flavor. So bitter, for example, like, Bitter is not bad, man. But it's like, I don't always want to just sip on an IPA throughout the day. Like, like how I get these notifications of people just being like, I'm conclude like, this is what it is. Like, this is the conclusion that which I have made about you. And I am glad that I've made this conclusion about you. Bye. You know, sort of thing. And it's like, okay. I'm glad you've made a, conc a conclusion for yourself. Okay, cool. Um, it's kind of limiting, you know, and on top of that, it's, it's a little bitter because it's not who I am. You know, their conclusions of me is not who I actually am. Um, you know, <clears throat> so I, I'm not sure how much I really want to be <clears throat> online in like an idea kind of way. Like, Expressing art that's made to be interpreted every which way is fine, you know, but like something I've always wanted to do with my life and my work and with creativity in particular is like, I, you know, when I was, when I was 20 years old, <clears throat> 19, 20 years old, I was in college wondering what the fuck to do. I didn't uh, have a connection to my natural, honest excitement in me, you know, like literally a decade, almost 20 years worth of listening to people and saying like, hey, don't listen to your excitement. Don't listen to what feels good in your life. We need to do this as a society and we need you to do this. You need to be part of the STEM field, do science, math and engineering and stuff like that. You know, oh, and you're, you're really intelligent. Good for you. You got good test scores. Good for you. So you should be, you know, that should make sense, right? You have good intelligence. You have, you have good mathematics test scores. So, so thinking logically and reasonably, you should go into a mathematics field because you have the intelligence and the know-how. And, you know, it's like, dude, okay, that may make some fucking logical sense. But, there, you know, that disconnected me from my excitement, from the honest feeling, the honest, like, blooming of life within me. I, you know, many of us, I think, are very disconnected from that honest love to, to exist. You know, that excitement that gets you to move one step in front of another. It gets you moving towards something that you actually honestly enjoy, you know. So when I was, like, 19 and 20, I was figuring this out for myself. I was listening to some speakers that were talking about excitement and that you, if you want to get to a place that's really true to yourself, that you got to follow your, your honest feelings within yourself and not all these fucking scattered, you know, fragmented ideas trying to be put together to make a society sort of thing. Like, you know, but in, instead there's this natural bloom of power within us called excitement. And it gets us to move. It gives us momentum to be who we are, honestly, you know, and it took me like a year's worth of like philosophy kind of, and I'm still progressing, but, but when I was like nineteen twenty, it took me like months to a year of, <clears throat> of listening to like 
like connecting the dots like oh so that's why excitement is valuable oh so that's why like exploring things that feel good and exploring things that feel bad are like actually valuable like whoa interesting and then i had like a four gram mushroom trip some potent like teacher caps and that showed me the ease and resistance of my energies it showed me as i was existing it, it made me it helps me be aware and notice the flow of energy in my body, the natural desire that it had, the natural inclination, the natural momentum that it had within my systems of my body. <clears throat> I was noticing that very intensely on the substance and under the influence of the substance. And I noticed what make make me excited. And I'd be like, oh my God, I fucking love this. Like, you know, the experience of the trip, you know, like what would make me excited? I just feel the excitement. I'm like, oh my God, this is truth. This is, this is honesty. This is power. This is momentum. This is real, real, real honesty. And then I, you know, that first trip, I went through cycles of like clenching. I'd be like, oh no, oh no, this is not good. This is not good because I don't know. I don't know what it means. There's this feeling in me. I don't, I don't get it or something, you know? And, and then I go into this like clenched position and be like, oh shit, fuck, god damn, this is crazy. And then I come back and roll around and be like, oh my god, excitement. Oh, I get it. I fucking get it. And then I come back and be like, oh, but I don't get it. You know? <laughs> and I go and like, I went through cycles of feeling, of really feeling the, the natural forces in my body and especially excitement. And c within the same month of that trip, I tripped on LSD for the first time in California. First time I was ever in California, had this insane week with with these couple young ladies, these beautiful, beautiful girls, um, just truly, truly goddesses of the lands who inspired me. In particular, one was a, was a visual artist, <clears throat> and when I was looking at her art, I was like, "Damn, these colors." You know, the the the, the creations that you're doing is something. You know, that feels like me, you know, like that, that painting feels like how I would want to express things, except I knew, I knew very, very early that painting was not the avenue for me. Like, I was like, I even told her, I think, I was like, if I had the life for it, I would be painting as well, you know, but I don't have the life for it. It's somebody else's thing, you know, <clears throat> and I felt the calling to get a guitar. And the reason I'm telling you this story is because that, that, the week that I had out there on a spring break when I was 19 turning 20, I believe it was, yeah, 19 turning 20, um, being inspired and in in, in feeling my excitement get fulfilled and feeling the results of excitement, you know, like just trusting my heart, being excited, just letting excitement like go over there, you know, I literally would practice, I'd practice coming to a state of nothing. And then feeling what's most exciting in, in the moment right now. What's most exciting? Well, right now it's to continue this video. But sometimes when I was first starting this off, it was like, just get up. Just get up and get out of the room. Sometimes that's all I would know. But it's a feeling of nature, you know. Um, and so when you trust that nature, go, go see what happens, you know. Just go see what happens and, and, and like make it valuable. You can make it valuable. If, if you're unable to see it, sometimes you got to search for it. You know, you got to search for the value sometimes. Sometimes you don't just notice it all the time. But if you're tuned in to, to see what, how things are valuable, how things are useful, you'll notice good reason to do something. Good reason to follow your excitement, for example. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, I'm, the whole reason I'm saying this is because I make art in part because I, so like, I don't really care to be some sort of like famous person. I don't really, I don't, I'm not even sure I even want that because I've experienced it in a video game before in a MMORPG where like literally I'd log into the game, two or three people would come up to me and say, Hey, are you this person? You make videos, blah, 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 blah. And like, and he's like, oh my God, hi, I can't believe I met you, whatever. Like I've experienced that in a game and I've also experienced that a little bit in person, actually, in this trippy, trippy Northern California. Um, and I'm not sure I'd even want that, you know? It's kind of ridiculous. 
is cool, but it's fucking ridiculous. And so like fame is not the thing I want. I don't even really care. I don't really like being in the eye of attention or whatever, but unfortunately, unfortunately being tall and, and my nature, like I've always been in the spotlight a little bit, even though I've been really good at staying at the edges of the classroom and just like being a little invisible a little bit, but people fucking notice me naturally. So I'm kind of, it's like a gift and a curse, but the reason I play guitar is like, it's an exercise for my brain and my hands, coordination, things like that for symbol, for the meaning, for the, for the, <clears throat> for the incorporation of meaning in symbols and in sounds. I think there needs to be a new word for that process. Like sound is fascinating. We, we experience the meaning of it just in the passing of time. We, we, we feel it, we, we get a meaning. And I think that's really interesting. And, uh, oh man. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so like, I'm just, I make, I play music in part because I just love the nature of it and I want to expand the nature of it. And I also play it this because like, I want to inspire people to be the greatest versions of themselves and to be also to take it easy, man. You know, it's like a really fucking hippie thing to say, but it's like, dude, life is going to happen and you can either fucking scream your balls off as it's happening in fear and dread and terror over anything. Or you can just, just like learn, learn some things that help you be at ease, you know? And I think being at ease is so much easier god damn <laughs> so i'm kind of like I'm, I'm i'm hoping with this like i just want to like inspire people you know if you have a good origination origin within yourself you know if, if you really focus on cleaning yourself up and being honest natural potent exuberant in your nature then so so much can be supported you know if you really go to the foundations of your being and and fill that in with truth and with consciousness that has so much more ability to support greater and greater things you know um so i've i've always been trying to like um you know hint at like hey maybe maybe this would help us be you know, at ease or just help us get through life so that we can focus on things that we want to focus on and create things that we want to create and stuff. And so I'll keep, I'll keep in, you know, what I'm, what I'm saying is I love playing guitar. I fucking love it for some fucking reason. Like it's my favorite controller, like a video game controller. Like I get to use all my fucking fingers. Not only that, there's texture to it that gets really, 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 really good. <laughs> when you're experiencing subtlety to like millimeters and like what's, what's even smaller than like micrometers, like guitarists that are really, really experienced, they're making movements that are micrometers and, and they're consciously doing it in, in some way. It's like a second nature. Thank God second natures exist because stuff becomes automatic and you just do it. And you're just like, oh my God. But Texture fucking is amazing, man. Like, <laughs> but, but the thing is being able to fucking use the fingers to feel it, to have the signals surging through your brain and body. And then to hear the music happen from the patterns that are happening. You're just like playing patterns in rhythms. And then all of a sudden there's just this sprouting of color in your experience of life as, as sound. That's just like so meaningful in just in, just in feeling. It's like, holy shit, man, that's really, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, now I, I might be able to start smoking this because I'm inspired to play music. <laughs> um, oh shit, working on getting furniture. <laughs> um, might have just found a futon, maybe. Um, so, 
<clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm not sure if I really care to like spread ideas. And also I have really, really slow internet right now. So uploading this video, oh my God, it's 40 minutes. It's going to take fucking all day. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. You know, I... I don't know. I'm, I'm so part of me has like wanted to privatize a lot of my videos because some people who just want to like, look my, you know, might get a very, very wrong first impression from the previous videos that I've created. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure I really want that. You know, I, I care more about the truth of information and about expanding and evolving you know, perspective, inclusiveness in particular, inclusiveness. Um, I don't know. I, I do still get a kick out of some people being so fucking rigid and staunch. It's fucking stanky, man, to be staunch. Like, this is how it is. This is how it is. This is how it is. It's like, well, come back in 50 years, see how it is. Go back 500 years, see how it is. You're fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> this shit ain't how it is. It's always morphing. Um, so yeah, I just... Freedom is also freedom. Whether you think I'm dumb or whether I think you're dumb, freedom is literally fucking free dumb. All of the above. But anyways, uh, yeah, so this update video, whatever, um, I, I don't really feel like showing you like doing a fucking house tour, even though that's a thing like YouTube, YouTubers do. I'm showing you literally the, the most grungiest fucking part of, of this house. <laughs> hello? 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 Yeah, this is the grungiest corner of this whole house. I'm wearing my, my, my grungiest clothes. I'm wearing bedhead. And there's this beautiful clean kitchen right behind the camera. And I'm choosing not to show that because it's not what this video is about. I'm just telling you that I have a beautiful home. I don't need to fucking show it. Beautiful home and a beautiful landscape. Um, working with stuff that I love where I literally wish I could be working like almost all day every day. If, if, I, if I could just not be in pain from you know, the, the physical labor of it. I love what we're doing. And, you know, it's something that I'm in the, I'm growing with people, you know, not only the plants, but like the structure, the place, you know, it's something that I'm growing with some, with people. And I get to see transform in front of my eyes. And so <clears throat> I'm basically just working and playing guitar and, Still kind of like studying comedy a little bit, just because, I don't know. I find it fascinating uh, that some people can make a meaningful conversation out of absolute nonsense. It's hilarious. That's Maybe that's like fucking partly what comedy is, but like, there's see, there's something in that nature. You might say, oh, well, that's meaningless to study the meaning of meaningless conversation. But there's actual value in it, which is, you know, so if you can create value out of nothing in a way, that's fucking fascinating, you know? <clears throat> and I'll tell you, when I, when I was living on the Oregon farm and I did not mesh well with the owners, they, they admitted, like, they just like bullshitting around a lot. And at that time in my life, I was like, I don't want to do this at all. I don't want to talk about stuff that makes, that has no grip in my life, that seemingly has no meaning. But they were enjoying, that's what they were doing is they were just enjoying life. And I didn't, you know, I wasn't tuned into that, at that, in that way, in that time of life. <coughs> um, <clears throat> but, you know, it's interesting. Everything has value. Every one of you, every, everything, everybody, every, everything has value. It just depends if we want to see it or not. And we can grow from anything, everything. It, we, we, you know, so... I'm starting to get the feeling that I need to use the restroom on this lovely morning and I got to go see if I can buy a futon. <laughs> so, uh, cheers. Sorry I didn't smoke this. 
Maybe in a different video, but it's coming on fast. I gotta get to the toilet. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. May it be. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. I'm doing stupendously well in terms of like, I have work. I'm getting paid during this fucking outbreak. I don't have to really see many people except to go into store. I'm growing organic food, all organic, everything. Fucking bam, bam, bam. I'm getting exercise. I have vitamins. I have nutrients. I have good medicines in this lush California space. Fresh food, local food. I mean, I'm in a really, 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 really great situation when it's when it's all said and done. It's amazing. It's a blessing. I don't take it lightly. And I'm working my butt off. So that's going to be it.